hey guys welcome back to my channel new road naturals good morning good afternoon good evening good night wherever you're watching from all over the world welcome to another live stream so recently i took down my edges to redo them if you guys have been watching me forever you know that i always do braids on my 4c hair and that helps me to retain the length that i have successfully been retaining over the years and growing my hair to waist length but as a rule when i do braids on my hair i keep it for up to three to four months at times like now when i have these big braids in the back because i'm just redoing the edges i keep these for like a month but even if i'm just keeping it for a month i still wash my hair in my braids i still deep condition my braids moisturize my braids i still keep my hair protected at night i do the whole regimen because that is going to help to protect my hair for when i'm ready to take them down which is critical if I want to retain length at all and occasionally like every two weeks or every three weeks so I'd redo my edges simply because those are the more most fragile parts of your hair they break easily they tend to pick up a lot of length and that can cause breakage when it's time for you to remove them braids so I did take down my edges I think it was was it yesterday or the day before I just didn't have any time to redo it until now so I decided I was going to come on here live and should chat with y'all as I redo the braids in the front of my hair. I want you guys to notice my earline. You notice how full it is? I don't lose my edges because I'm really careful with my edges, guys. And that is critical. When you're doing protective style, make sure they're not tight. Make sure they're not causing damage to your edges because that's just defeating the whole purpose of doing protective styling and if you're new here y'all would know that this is my shea butter recipe i use it for moisturizing my hair and my clients here hi patricia hi cynthia hi karen hi kimberly hi keon thanks to the sixth person that gave the live stream a thumbs up so far you're super duper awesome <laughs> hi andrea i see you hi brie vlogs welcome Happy to have you guys joining me. I actually wanted to do something different with the front. Like probably do cornrows. But I got lazy. Because I know in order for me to do cornrows on the front, I would have to do a thorough detangling. And trust me, I'm, I'm not in any mood for that. So I might as well just reinstall them braids. Hi, Carleen. Hi, Valencia. How are you? So as a rule, I try not to braid the edges of my hair too tightly because you don't want that pulling effect on your edges, which can end up giving you traction alopecia because of the tension that is placed on there. I'm not sure if you can see how loose I'm braiding it. Your hair grow through different phases and at all time those three phases are happening. Not most of the hair or the strands of your head, the strands of hair on your head is in the growth phase most of the time. So around say 90% of the hair on your head is always in the growth phase. And then you have the other section in resting phase and the other section falling out. So Anagen, hydrogen, and telogen is always happening. It's a cycle. Even if you chop your hair off, you still have hair in the growth phase, hair coming out, hair resting. Hi, Marilyn. So it's not that at one point in time, all the hair just stop growing on your head and it will take some rest and then start over. It's a cycle that happens simultaneously. So while some is growing, some is resting, some falling out. If you understand what I'm what I mean. I'm just responding to the person that asked the question. If I brush my edges, girl, ain't nobody have no time for that. <laughs> Alright, let me be honest with you. I like use a like one of these combs, and if I probably grab some edge control, I'll do something like this with it. But as using a hairbrush to routinely brush my hair, that just don't make no sense. Because my hair, it rolls like little ball. You know, 4C hair behave. It rolls like ball and then 
in no time it's back to square one so that don't even make no sense I'm not the type that try to lay edges. I mean, if you want to try a different style or do something cute, I'll occasionally do something to my edges, but I just leave my edges alone. And so far, that has been working for me because, like you can see, I still have them. Hi, Christine. Good night to you. <laughs> Hi, Wilma. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Floretta. Why am I here myself? Hi, Floyd. <laughs> Somebody need to turn that volume down. Hi, Tony. Yeah, I love my hair nappy. I don't mind it being nappy. Like, girl, I don't worry. Them. I don't worry about getting my edges laid or anything. I know my hair wasn't designed for that. It depends, like, on the style that I'm wearing and the event. And the occasion I'll probably try to do something something sometimes but otherwise girl hey nobody care <laughs> <laughs> hi Nico Nelson hi son good day to you so I'm just when you see me doing this I'm just doing some finger detangling I'm not sure if you can see that yeah I like to do this to remove the shedded hair that I have in there and also to stretch it here. Hi Valencia. Whichever texture you have, Cynthia, it is beautiful. Natural hair is beautiful overall. It just that I think 4C girls struggle more. <laughs> maybe I'm a little okay, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm 4C, but I genuinely think 4C girls struggle more in more ways than others like no like y'all don't have no problem you just easily would just use a white tooth comb and detangle your hair easy easy i have to be doing this or else some serious knots gonna be in there and then that's just gonna break yeah so i'm just gonna braid this up hi jackie how are you my darling by the way, thanks to the 18 person that gave the live stream a thumbs up so far. You're super duper awesome. What I do when I have single strand knots? Come here, I'm going to tell you. what I do <laughs> yes Brenda they even have those brushes for edges but hey me I'm not buying that waste some money for me mm -mm. ain't nobody going to take my money like that that not gonna work <laughs> So I'm still feeling shedded here in the mix. I'm just trying to remove them as I braid. Hi, Rayon Hall. I guess sulfur 8 has cooling properties in there that soothes scalp that is prone for, to dandruff, but it doesn't fix the dandruff itself. So it may cause you to feel some relief, but I'm sure it doesn't fit, fix the issue. By the way, welcome to the live stream. If you're watching for the first time, my name is Samantha, Princess Samantha for you all. <laughs> all right, so I'm just playing up. Hi, Doreen. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. So now is the time I answer y'all question while I'm braiding my hair. That's why I came on here to chit chat with you. So y'all can follow my journey closely. Did somebody asked earlier what I do when I have single strand knots. See one right here? 
I use the scissors that I use for hair only, a hair scissors, and I just cut it. What else am I going to do? Cut it off. Moving right along. So these sections were the original sections that were there from the get-go. I tried to maintain them because I know when your hair is not detangled, as a first year, I'm trying to make sections, especially if you're tender edit as me. As I am, trust me, that can be problematic. So I try my best to work with existing sections as much as I can. For a new style, I occasionally will switch that up. But hi, Stephanie. How are you? Hi, Lorna. I'm not sure I understand Lorna's quest Lorna's question. Just neaten up this part a little bit. Yeah, that's the only time you guys probably see me using combs when I'm trying to do neater parts. And that's very crucial for my length retention too. Like, I feel like combs just rip out my hair. No matter how wide the tooths are, just because of how coily my hair is and how matted it gets sometimes, home is just a waste of waste of energy. Hi Beverly, I'm 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 blessed and highly favored. <laughs> Hi Faith. Yeah, it's getting back along. Or oh, you put on edges. What's edges? You mean an edge control, like a product that is used to smooth edges? Or is it a product that is used to grow edges? Because I know edge controls are solely for the fact, solely for the purpose of laying edges, like making them smooth and tameable. They don't necessarily grow them. As a matter of fact, on the contrary, too much laying off the edges can actually cause you to lose it by constantly manipulating and putting, especially if those edge controls have a lot of alcohol and other chemicals in them, over time you'll find that your hair in the edges start thinning out. Hi Erla, how are you? Yes, guys. Same thing that I'm using now. Like, my clients, I have some clients that don't do their hair naturally. They go other places and they get extensions installed. Those clients usually purchase these from me. So all they do is just use it to moisturize their hair just the same. Cynthia girl, I don't even understand them language because just because I don't do those styles, like I have no clue. I'm clueless. <laughs> Literally clueless. Four, four, four down. I think it's three more to go. Well, we're going somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I'm perspiring. Like these lights are hot. And I have to use them because I don't like the way the videos at night stream look foggy without me using these lightings. But they're so hot. Maybe I need to put on the air condition. Oh, wait. I can't be bothered to move right now. I'll just endure it until we're through here. 
high CIB or CLB. All right, so I'm just gonna go from this side and moisturize. I do not spread my hair without moisturizing it first. Why? Because dry hair for me is equivalent to getting my hair snapped and broken. And the fact that these styles are gonna I'm gonna keep this style for a while. I need it to be thoroughly moisturized before, during, and after. Hi Pello, hi creamy. I when I'm coming back to Jamaica, I want you to when you come in Jamaica want to meet you. Anytime I see you, I can't stop watch you. you. Are so graceful. Ah, that's so sweet, Lorna. Yeah, I'll soon come back home. Soon come back to Jamaica, the land of food and water. Hi, <laughs> Anne Marie. How are you? like between me and you this is the hardest way to braid my hair like i do not enjoy braiding like this i enjoy braiding on the opposite side i don't know what got into me this evening why i decided to do these type of braids as in the braids that lay flat i like doing them on the flip side and marie girl i'm in quarantine for 14 days can you believe it so I have no choice but to stay home, girl. So it's not by choice. Y'all know me better. I'll be at work until 11 tonight. <laughs> but God is giving me rest, so I'm taking the rest. Yes, Pello, you can use a safety pin to take out your braids. Whichever is easy and more comfortable for you. Yeah, being home means lots of rest for me. It means a lot of reflecting for me and getting done a lot of things that I didn't have the time to do before. And also getting into the word. Like these few days that I've been home, I've been really doing some serious Bible study and prayer because we're living in a very serious time. Like if you watch the news and you see what's happening around you, even in your local country, you can see that these are solemn times we're living in. And something is about to happen, and guess what? We have to dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. So, I'm trying to draw close to my God. Because he's the only safe haven we have in these times. Hi, Jane! Yeah. Hi, Karen! Yes. So, like, the fact that I'm not working for 14 days, like, I look into it not only positively, but I take the opportunity. I see this as God trying to get my attention to say, slow down, girl. Spend some time with me, girl. A lot of things is happening, girl. A lot of things is about to happen. It's about to happen. And we have to be prepared for it spiritually. Yeah. I am fearfully handmade. Hi, Tanisha. How are you? Yes, girl. It's getting back along. Yes, Lorna. No problem. Hi, Jada Pretty. See, my hair start rolling already. Roly poly. I wouldn't have it any other way. This is me. <laughs> okay. Indeed, so Jacqueline. Go ahead, Tanisha. Ask your question. 
if I if I don't see it, other persons in the chat will help you. But I'll try to look out for it, girl. I'm paying attention now, so ask no. <laughs> I teach her, Jen. Yeah. When COVID is not so rampant, I'll consider taking a world tour. But right now, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving unless I have to. Not going nowhere. <laughs> So after I take down these braids, you guys have to remind me to do a lane check video. I wanted to do one for October, so maybe at the end of this month. Do you all see how fast the, the days and the weeks and the months are going? Like, just yesterday it was January, and now it's December. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, I'm exaggerating, of course, but you all see that. Thank you, Jacqueline. Hi Terry, welcome to the live stream. What type here do you have, Tanisha? Do you know what, what curl pattern you have? When you say what can you use to detangle, you mean product? Generally, I de de detangle my hair when I have like a deep conditioner in it, a moisturizing deep conditioner that is, or with a good conditioner with slip that's on wash days outside of wash days i use i like to use my own shea butter recipe to detangle my hair as i go if your hair is really matted you may want to buy a detangling product most of the time that's not necessary but if you have to not today by kinky curly is an excellent detangler yeah and you're so right cynthia time wait for no man but what amazed me is that you know the bible state that god said that he was going to shorten the days for the elect's sake but i don't know how he's doing it but these days are surely getting shorter still 24 hours in a day but think about it like the days are really short and things are happening so fast so we need to set our house in order i'm doing well denise oh you are you are relaxed anisha and your hair get matted by are you transitioning not like relax your cannot get matted but girl what are you doing to mat up that relaxer? Is it matted when you're trying to wash it? Because that's most of the time when relaxer get tangled. Otherwise, piece of cake. Not today. Kinky curly, not today. But that's so natural here. I don't know if it will work on relaxer at all. Yes, Joy. Yes, yes, yes. And even now you see the final movements indeed are rapid. Like, y'all see? So many things happening. When it's not, not volcano, destroying people's homes and livelihood is pandemic. Then you have war in the Middle East and all over. Then you have all these hungry belly people dying all over the world. Then you have all these civil un unrest people losing their jobs this whole covid thing turning the world upside down inside out like so many things are happening let us not get distracted yeah let us not be distracted by whatever is happening focus on jesus let us not be foolish virgins like me me fooling a foolish virgin but don't worry, I won't get wise. I wake up out of my slumber. Hi, Tranquil. Hi, Kimberly. Yeah, the not today. Kinky Curly not today is a good detangler. 
my ends all the way to my ends you're referring to my edges girl i don't be taming no edges if you're referring to right right here i make sure i keep them moisturized anything i'm doing i give these more attention and more so if i'm going to moisturize my hair i generally give hair more if i'm going to deep condition i generally put more on the ends because they're older they're more susceptible to breakage given the fact that you know they're very fragile how oh, i keep my hair stretched flatten it <laughs> when it's not in flat probably bant a lot <laughs> or stuff like that but yeah that's why i keep my hair stretched the detangler is Pinky Curly Not Today. That's K-N-O-T-T-O-D-A-Y. And the brand is Kinky Curly. That's a good one. Oh, and there's this Aunt Jackie product. It's curl -a It's not originally a detangler, but I find it great for detangling for C here. So I use it solely for that purpose. Because girl, that curl -a -la, don't do one, don't put one curl in our hair type. So I use it for detangling purposes and it works good because it's relatively affordable. It's more cheaper than the not today. But if you ask me, not today is really good. Yeah, even aloe vera gel is good for detangling. So many things. But it depends on what when you're detangling your hair. Hi Joy. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. Thanks to the 49 person that gave the live stream a thumbs up. You guys are super duper awesome. Hi, Sister Jenkins. Well, like this size braids, I like to keep them in for like a month or so. But of course, I'm constantly redoing them. Like every two weeks or every three weeks, I'm redoing it. Sometimes I get lazy and annoyed, so I don't touch it at all. But the greatest thing is that I keep it moisturized while I'm wearing braids. I keep it protected by sleeping in my satin bonnet or a silk scarf and whatnot. So I'm not too worried when I don't redo my braids, even when they're so big, it's just that like they look terrible. But I don't care. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. Like, I'm not a jewelry person. Like, you almost never see me wearing jewelry. The only jewelry I've worn for years was my wedding band. But like, now you realize I'm not wearing jewelry. But yeah, I struggle with this makeup thingy. I'm not a makeup loving person. But sometimes I feel, like, tired. And I think it shows on my face. And I think makeup has a way to hide the way you feel sometimes. Not that that is good to be covering up the real thing that you should be doing is actually getting rest but my friend told me my little friend my little baby friend said auntie you look so much better without makeup and i believe that girl so i'm not a lover of makeup sometimes i do depends on situation but girl one day me just have a show with all of them can't no make no sense i'm marcia <laughs> so i'm done doing my braids <laughs> So Marcia is asking if braids are better than twists. For me, they are. Because when I braid my hair, I realize it lasts longer. Twists generally locks my hair. Even if I just do them for three days, my hair gets really dry. It shrinks on itself a whole lot more. And then it locks on itself. So detangling them cause a lot of breakage for me. As opposed to braids. Braids I can keep longer, moisturize them, even wash them and don't ruin the style too much. It still gets a little bit frizzy, but that's just about it. The style lasts longer. For twists, some some persons are better with twists over braids because their hair have finer strands and thinner hair. So they prefer to do twists and the twists don't lock on them, fortunately for them, but to each his own. But for me, braids are better. Last longer. Low maintenance, you can wash them, you can do everything to them without ruining the style too much. The just the, the only thing about twists that I like for my hair is that it gives me a lot of volume. Like when I braid my hair, it looks like I don't have anything. 
on my already thin hair because my hair is thin my hair has low density if you understand what that means so it's not thick but braids have a way to make it look extra thin but i don't mind we don't care <laughs> i blue yes i do i have professional shears at work and i always have one in my purse I know you may not think it's professional, but it doesn't damage my hair. Once the share is sharp, like once it's really sharp, and that's the only purpose you use it for, for your hair, you don't have no problem. Yeah. Hi, Cardelia. Good evening to you. All right. Some strands on my head, some sections of my head have really thick strands. Other sections have medium to fine strands. Like the back right here around the nape area has some very fine strands. The middle up here have a lot of thick strands. So is the front right here. Here, medium to fine. A lot of things going on on this head. Same here, Lauren. I might be slack too fast. What's the name of my favorite leave-in conditioner, Wilma? My shea butter recipe. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you want to know what is in my shea butter recipe, I have a playlist that I have my DIYs in, and you'll find my leave in conditioner recipe or my African shea butter recipe in there, made from scratch. So you'll see what I put in there and how I do it. I CLB. She says, My hair shrinks very fast with twists and don't last long. Is it because my hair is fine? I have thick hair. I don't understand. Girl, whether your hair is fine or fine not, your hair is going to shrink in twists. It's natural. But what differentiates it shrinking too much, like a lot over versus shrinking on average? Is if you twist your hair while it is wet or you allow your twist to get wet, then it will shrink a lot shorter and faster as opposed for it to being, you know, dry i hope you understand that not to say dry so because i let my hair moisturize but that's just it yes royal ambassador doing braids that's an awesome idea can i suggest something for sensitive scalp sheila I would suggest that you do not put anything on your sensitive scalp for a while. So do not put anything on your scalp for a while. Just wash your hair, moisturize your hair, whatever. But do not add anything, no oils, no nothing to your scalp for a while. And then try not to do styles that put tension on it. Just wear your hair out free. I don't mean leave your ends out, but try not to do any style that you can feel that tension on it. Even sometimes you don't feel it, but the tension is there. You have to do loose styles. And over time you'll find that the sensitivity is gone but if it is something like some scalp issues that you have in terms of you know dandruff or psoriasis or eczema or other underlying issues that is causing your scalp to be sensitive or even hair loss you definitely need to get that trick checked out because what i'm telling you won't work for that situation hi vicky So Vicky said, hi Sam, I have fine hair. Would box braid work for growth or would it braid my hair? I find that box braid work for hair whether it's fine, thick or medium strands. You know that you have to be very careful with them. And it's just a matter of how you feel about how your hair looks when you do it because your strands are fine. But if you follow what I do, be very careful when you install it and taking down and keep it moisturized and deep conditioning and not leaving it too long. Like if your strands are fine, do not leave your braids in too long. Yeah. Once you follow those guidelines, you're okay. Hi, K. Kelly. Shrinkage is good. Tell your hair is healthy and growing naturally. Here. Yes, girl, you're right. Hi, Miss Vaughn. Hi, Sarana. Good night to you, my darling. So Sheila is asking, any advice on sealing ends? My hair can be moisturized all the way, except for the last inch of the hair. Girl, the ends are the oldest part. I believe I've said this already. 
your ends are the oldest part they face a lot of weather yeah they weather the storm so whatever you're doing to your hair make sure you're giving more attention to your ends they're the oldest part they're more susceptible to breakage they're more prone to dries so you may want to start focusing like putting more moisturizers on your ends as well as doing protective style and tucking your ends away from the elements that will help you to retain moisture where they're concerned and sometimes you just need a trim if you have done a trim before so that's obviously not the issue then follow what i say put more products on your ends focus more on your ends tuck them away leave them alone that's awesome sheila so sheila said thank you right now i just touched my hair and it hurts there is nothing visible. My scalp is not dry. I don't have dandruff nor any other visible skin condition. I have found that using essential oil help. That's awesome, Sheila. Aloe vera does help too. But sometimes you have, you know, sense scalp sensitivity just because you have other things happening inside your body. For example, your diet, lack of drinking enough water, stress can cause inflammation of the scalp. So food that is highly you know high in irritants and certain things oily food fatty food those can cause inflammation of the scalp as well so you want to pay attention to your diet hi tony tinker hi nikki dancy i'm doing well i'm blessed and highly favored i am blessed and highly favored <laughs> You know, so my finish part up me here a long time. We just try to answer on the question before I go away because it's still early. Hi, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. Hi, Joan. So, Joan say, hey, what do you think about rice water? I use it in my hair and it works. Okay, Joan, I have several videos that I did on rice water. Just a moment, guys. Let me call you back. I'm live. Okay. Right, so, in a nutshell, these are my thoughts on rice water. Like, to get detailed information so you can understand what I'm saying, you can make reference to one of those videos. Rice water has inositol. What that does is basically coat your strands. It make your strand, it forms a barrier over your strand and help to protect it against breakage. No, rice water is considered to be a protein treatment because of the protein content in rice water. So if you have high porosity here, doing regular rice water treatment is really good to help you with keeping your hair shiny and strong and retaining more moisture and ends retaining length. If you have low porosity here, it's not advisable to leave rice water on your hair. Like if you like use rice water twice per month or once per month, that's okay for low porosity here as a protein treatment was not recommended. But the thing is, rice water don't make your hair grow any faster than how you know your hair normally grows. What rice water does is actually coat your strands. It coat the strand, make the strand stronger, so you're not really experiencing a lot of breakage, if at all any. And by you not experiencing any breakage that cause you to retain more length so you may think that it's growing fast it's actually retaining the length so if you can find a way to prevent breakage at all even without using the rice water with or without it you'll think that your hair is growing fast when it's actually just retaining the length that you have grown think about it if there was any way to make your hair grow faster like some person stayed like two inches for a week or an inch for a week I think doctors and scientists would have found a way to capitalize on that and make millions of dollars on it. Just thinking out aloud. Yeah, they would have. They would have bottled that product, girl, and sell it to us for millions. But rice water is good. It has its benefits. But you have to be careful because if you have low porosity here or protein sensitive here and you're not using that thing correctly, it can cause your hair to break off. So that's it for me in a nutshell as it concerns rice water thank you k kelly k kelly say hi your hair is growing nicely i've been natural almost 11 years no i'll never ever get a relaxer. yeah i feel the same way i'll never get a relaxer 
Like, I had the weirdest dream last night. Like, you remember last year when I had the alopecia issue, especially these sides? I dreamed that my hair, this whole patch right here was missing and my scalp was looking so inflamed. Like, I had a What kind of nightmare that y'all pray for me? Because that's a horrible dream for me. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I dreamed that the entire patch right here was bald and my scalp was like so inflamed. I'm glad when I wake up and realize yeah, it was just a dream. Yeah, I love rosemary oil too, Jackie. Yeah. Any more questions? If y'all don't have no questions, I can go. So, Sai say she likes my accent. Sai, so, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> I'm, you, you guys probably can tell by now if you didn't know me from before. I'm Jamaican. That's why you like the accent. <laughs> uh, you, you know you're in great i did not eat late last night like i did not eat late like i woke up hungry this morning hungry hungry because <laughs> i'm trying to lose weight so i'm trying not to have the, the late night eating like one night i did eat late but that wasn't the night that i had the dream i did a video with with that royal ambassador you can probably check my diy playlist for that Hi Angie. Salt and pepper hair is a different story. So Angie's asking, what is the best moisturizer for salt and pepper hair? My hair gets very dry. Girl, if you have salt and pepper hair, them gray hair gonna always be dry. So you have to keep your moisture hair up. It's simple happens because it, gray hair is like a shell. So it doesn't have any melanin in it. And it doesn't have that coat that keeps the hair moisturized and hydrated like you know darker strands and it tends to be more unruly you ever look at your gray hair and see like you comb me here and then they wiry and all over the place yeah the struggle is real but for gray hair like for my clients with salt and pepper hair i like to give them my shea butter recipe too but except that i don't use the yellow shea butter i use a white one because using the yellow shea butter constantly on the hair can stain it you want that gray hair to always stay nice and silvery. So look for my Shea Butter recipe. Instead of using the yellow, use the white. Stick to moisturizers that are creamy, not weighing down the hair, but creamy, thick and creamy, and also moisturizers that don't have a lot of protein in them. Like if there's a protein in there, you probably want to stay away from that. And also stay away from heat tools if you have dry like really dry gray hair deep conditioning hair regularly as well but stick to products that are neutral in terms of color yeah <clears throat> yeah coconut milk is awesome bond oh you never live in kensington kensington hi mary black So Joy is asking what shampoo and conditioner is best for use on fine hair. Girl, you want to stick with conditioning shampoo or moisturizing shampoo. So even though it may be sulfate free, it, not, it may not necessarily be a moisturizing or conditioning shampoo. Some sulfate free shampoo are just for the purpose of, you know, clarifying your hair and the shampoos do different things. So stick to your conditioning and your moisturizing or rich moisturizing shampoos that are also sulfate free. Hi Caitlin, good night to you. Anyway guys, I've been chatting with you for 44 minutes. Not that I don't like your company, I mean I really enjoy your company. I could do this all night, but my legs are getting tired. <laughs> That's awesome, Mar Marcia. She said she has used my shea butter recipe with the white shea butter and she loves it. That's awesome. So guys, any other question that you may have? Just a moment. See, people just have called me. So I have to go. I really like, I really like talking to you, but girl, I have to go. So any other question that you guys have, you may want to drop it in the comment section below and I'll definitely go through and answer because I may have time for my unknown middle home in quarantine. so i'll see you guys in the comment section thank you for coming to keep me company
remember Jesus love you. Use this time to meditate on God because all the crazy things is happening in the world and God is going to be our only safe haven. He's going to be the only fortress we have. So until next time, Jesus love you. So be very good. And I'll see you in another live stream or another video. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Caroline. Bye, Caroline. <laughs>